Well, good morning. We have uh, Moses Makobe here, and Moses is the winner of the Engine My Best Lessons Award for Grade 11 Physical Science. But anyway, welcome. It's, it's good to have you here. Good to welcome. Thank you. Uh, mm. Let's take a look at the problem yeah. that you described in your Best Lesson Award. Now, do you want to talk us through it? This cars, I may predict that they moved from this police station to Jennifer's Plaza. And then the other car moved before. Okay. But these cars, I assume that they started at the same time. Okay. Then I said because no. There, because there's a traffic light further down the road. Yes. So, and okay. I, I need them to, to arrive at the same time at the Jennifer's Plaza. Okay. Then I said no, the, the, the time they spent to must be the same. That is why I have an overtaking time being the same there. Uh -huh. Then I struggle okay. to find out what will happen to the speeds. Okay, let's let's yes. let's have a look at some some real toy cars and yeah. let's let's try and uh, take a look at this problem. Yeah, we, we we need to understand that the velocity of this car is slower than yeah. the velocity of this right. car. Right, right. Using the same. Uh, time that is taken from here to here okay. and having the same time from here to here then we can develop an equation from sciences whereby velocity is equal to the distance over the time okay so the velocity of the slow car let's call it the velocity of the slow car yeah. is y1 over t over t and the velocity of the fast car is y2 2, two over t. t yes right then we we manipulate this we, we we change this to make t the subject of the formula ah yeah. and so now we say they're both taking the same length of time uh -huh. so t is equal to uh y1, y1 over, over v s slow yes and that's also equal to y2, y2 over v f, f. yes Right. Good. We don't yeah. need to go through and solve that problem because what I think is interesting here yeah. is how you frame the problem with the learners. Yeah. You, you, it's, it's the idea of taking a practical example which they can all imagine. There are two cars. One car starts off at the traffic lights far down the road and the other one starts off at these traffic lights. Yeah. And the traffic lights change together and then this one goes off slowly that one from far back goes off fast Faster. and at some point they they must catch up they the, the the yellow car catches up with the red car yeah now that's a a language a yeah. narrative description yeah of what's going on and your job here is to try and convert that into symbols which yeah. allow us then to do actual calculations. Yeah. If yeah. you take the uh, the diagram that you have yeah. on the chalkboard, yeah, and you make the learners imagine something which they've all already seen. Yeah. They've seen cars moving down the road. Yeah. It it does uh, make it a little easier to to understand, doesn't it, it? It becomes easier for them to understand when you relate them to the reality. Right. But the problem is how to work with the variables and the formulas. Okay. Mm. If they understand much on what happened before, mm. and then you, you, you can now get to the next step and say, let's take that for the second step this happens. But we need this to reach the same line here. Right. I, I remember this when I was doing something at the last by yesterday. They, 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 ma they managed to ask me the question, how if we can do this? Then I said, that one will be the better also. Okay. Okay. If you, you start to encourage the learner that yes. the direction he took after analyzing very well that That's that is wonderful. bright, then the, the learner is more equipped yes. to, to relate conditions. I, I yes. hear exactly what you're yeah. saying. It's getting the learners not just into the problem, yeah. but yeah. into the into the mechanisms of solving the problem. Yeah. Trying to relate real distances or, or trying to give 
real distance is a sim symbol. Yes. Why one is that mm. distance? And they start thinking in those terms. Yeah. Then solving mm. problems becomes quite easy. Yes. In some cases, when things are much difficult, you may relate it with money. They yes. will understand you yes. better okay. because money is what they they use always. Except and for those you, of us that don't uh, have any. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you may you may relate the the money towards what they are doing, they that is where their interest is. Mm -hmm. Then you you just change the the way. So you're around. giving them an analogy just yes. to help them understand the mechanism mm -hmm. of the yes. of the, the uh, mathematical mechanism. Right. It becomes a question. Someone may say that will not happen, to my teacher. Then I say. Sometimes you don't understand. Physics is all about the physical things you can handle and see. Yes, yes. So do, don't take it that these things are they belong to the books. They don't belong to the books. They're real. That, that is what you can do always, and you are busy doing, unaware of. So we go to the road now. You go and look at this uh, type of scenario, and then you'll see that many the case each and every time there is a car that passes one another yes. and when the, the other car passes one another it means the other car is slow yes. and the coming one is faster yes so it passes the the first car with the faster speed yes therefore after passing it at their heads there is a time that they have made from a certain spot behind yes. and they've taken the same length of time yes to so, the, to, to cover so we, we need to relate that, yes. Moses, the, the way you're describing your teaching to me, uh, I, I love it because it's the kind of thing I try and do myself. I try and think my way into the problems that learners are having. I don't yeah. always yeah. succeed. Yeah. In fact, I think I should come and learn a little bit more from you in the way you do your teaching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, okay, thanks. It's been great having My you here. And, uh, yeah. uh, continue the good work. I will hopefully do like okay. that.